Hey guys, The Yellow Shepherd here. So, many of you may use the popular music streaming app, uh, Spotify. This allows you to stream music for free, legally, but if you don't pay for it, they every 10 minutes or so they play ads. Today I'll be showing you how to use a simple program called Blockify to block these ads and also add hotkey functionality to the application. Okay, now here we are on the application's website. I'll link it in the description. Now all you have to do is on the download links there, if you get the Blockify Lite 0.3, the zip file, and just download it and extract it to your hard drive somewhere. One great thing about this application is that it doesn't require any installation. In the zip file, it includes a C++ network installer, in case you don't already have that on your machine. But if you're running Windows 7 or Windows Vista, you shall already have it. In case you don't, or it doesn't work for some reason, you can just go ahead and run that installer and it should work fine. Okay, once you've downloaded and extracted that zip file, inside you should find four files. If you run the Blockify Lite executable and then start up Spotify, the Blockify should immediately pick up Spotify. And you can see here there are options. For example, here are the hotkeys options. You can see there are many of them. These are global hotkeys, so you can do this without the application being selected. For example, if you're browsing the web and you want to change song or skip songs. Another cool feature of this application is not only does it block ads, but during the ads you can have it play a different song on your hard drive, for example. So if you go to options and click set folder, you can choose where the program will search for music to play while the ad is playing. How this application works is it, when it detects an ad being played, it mutes it and then plays a different mp3 that you already have. So here I'm just showing the muting in action. As you can see, I want to change song there, and Spotify has immediately been muted, and it is now searching for a different song to play. And there you go, you see it's now playing a different song, and once that song is ended, it will continue playing whatever was currently in Spotify. Here you can just see me setting up the hotkeys so that I can use them. I'm just setting the play pause to the control, windows key, and spacebar button, the next song to control, windows key, right, and the previous song to control Windows key left. So I'm just going to show you them here. As you can see, as I press control Windows key right and left, it switches between the songs. And if I press control Windows key space, it pauses and plays them. Well, that's all for now, guys. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Like this video if you think it was good. And subscribe for my next video. See ya.